Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be looking at some of your guys' teams that you have sent me. Yes, we're going to be rating some of your endgame teams, all the insane footies cards, the cover star icons, and basically just to kind of observe how we've grown our squads and all the insane players that we have been able to attain by the end of this FIFA 23. Because guys, of course, we are in the end game. So I'm excited to look at some of your teams today, look at all of your insane pack pulls that you guys have gotten. And also, I asked you guys to tell me your club legends. What are some cards that have stood the test of time in your club that maybe still make your starting 11 or at least on the bench or that you will never forget from FIFA 23? So we're going to take a look at those today. If you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. Now I'm going to do a full club tour on my account a little bit later as we get closer to FC 24, but for right now that's my squad at the moment and this is where we're going to be looking today. Twitter. I put a tweet out saying FIFA 23 is basically chalked. Send me those endgame squads and tell me your club legends. This Rudy Voller from the um, guaranteed World Cup Hero Pack, the pre-order one. I got very lucky, packed this. That's my club legend. But we're going to look at a lot of your guys' teams today because, man, there are a lot of teams down below this tweet, and there are some crazy cards that you guys have been packing and some really cool club legends that a lot of you guys have. So let's get into things starting off here from Barrels. He says, to be honest, there are too many players I don't like to bench. Isn't that the problem of the end game, guys? That's the issue I've been running into recently is it's so like insane right now with all the footies, 99s, and the icons. It's hard to put players in your starting 11. Look how many 99s he has, man. On the bench, like he says, he's got a 98 rated team with maxed out chemistry, I believe. You can maybe get a 99 rated squad. Now, if you were to put all 99s that are attainable in the game into that squad. But this is what I'm going to look for in a lot of these squads today, guys. Just differences, right? He's got a level up Varane and Schweinsteiger at center back. That's going to be different. And his club legend, of course, is team of the year, Kylian Mbappe, with almost 1,500 games played. Look at that. 1,458 games played, 1,200 goals, and 900 assists. Wow. He, that is a true club legend. Nice squad there, bro. I love all the 99s, even though a lot of them are SBCs. But you packed a Benzema. You packed a 99 Messi. That was not an easy feat. And I like how there's uh, the Shapeshifter VVD is going to be pretty rare. As we look through a few of these teams today, he doesn't get into a lot of these squads. He really doesn't. It's kind of crazy. You got Marquisio. You got Yaya in there. Of course, a lot of 99 Erling Hollands are out there as well. That is a nice team, and I love your club legend with all those games. That's one thing a club legend has to be, right, is a card that is used so, so much. Now, moving on to the next squad. This is from Vlad. He's got Vinny98, probably one of the greatest free footies of all time from the season, right? The Ginola card, the Yaya card, of course, cover star Dino, the, the Mateus, the Roberto Carlos, Conate, uh, arguably a really insane free center back as well, although... Personally, I was happy that the Lacroix was really easy. And I don't know if we're going to see too many Lacroix today. I mean, it's on his bench right here in the bottom left. You can see it. Um, but uh, I liked how Lacroix was so easy to do from a grinding perspective, especially as the menu grind during footies was really insane. But if you did play a lot of the weekend league or even just got 11 wins a weekend or 9 wins a weekend, this Konate was a great card to get uh, while doing that. Araujo footies actually in here at right back as well. Who is your club legend? Kylian Mbappe, player of the month. Wow. Now, this is a card that I think everybody hated, unless you had it. But everybody hated coming up against this card in the earlier stages of FIFA 23. 1,900 games played and over 3,200 goal contributions. You are correct, my guy. Oh, my goodness. That is disgusting. What a return and what an SBC. I mean, 1,900 games. That's a lot of games. I don't even know how how long this guy was in your team, but that's crazy, bro. Wow. Vlad GG's. That's insane. All right. I'm excited for this team. This is Pac Miles, a stream legend. He's got 97 Shapeshifters Pogba in his squad. That's the first Pogba that we've seen. And a couple of level ups. 99 Kevin De Bruyne and 97 Rafael Varane. He's got a red foot champs tail Hernandez team this season at left back. Uh, you could arguably say that that card could be upgraded by now. Um, I think he's just not going too crazy with all of the, the footies cards right now. I think he's just enjoying his squad. And he's got a lot of City players in there because he's a City fan. But he's just he's just enjoying the squad and the players that he has. Like, I understand wanting to keep a 99 Kevin De Bruyne and a 97 Rafael Varane in your team. Even though there's Konate, there's Marquisio, there's so much better or newer footies cards that have been released. 
I, I like that he kept these guys in the squad, man, uh, because we played a lot of games. If any of you guys still are using level up cards, we played a lot of freaking games in July and August on this game to get those cards upgraded. So props to you, Packed Mouse. Team of the Year VVD, I believe that's a first owner card. He's even got Doomfreeze in there. That's pretty interesting. And then, of course, a lot of the City players on the bench. And, guys, his club legends are very interesting. First of all, VVD with 1,700 games. In my opinion, best center back in the game. So good. Uh, I was so happy to pack him as well during Team of the Year. Now, this one, you didn't see this one coming, guys. Isak Foot Fantasy. He bought this card a long time ago, has 344 games played, 383 for the current club. He says that club legend is undoubtedly Isak. To date, the most fun I've had with a card this year and the best stepovers of any card on foot, IMO. I'll be completely honest with you guys. I would be fine never seeing a step over again in my life because I hate them in FIFA 23. They're everywhere, but I'm, I'm assuming that for him, Isak did them very, very well. That's a nice club legend and somebody different. And man, that is a nice card. And of course, who doesn't remember the Isak for all the upgrades that he got and the run that Newcastle went on during that foot fantasy period earlier on in uh, 2023. Now, next team, we have here another footies full team, but also... We have some cover star icons in here that we haven't seen yet. Wayne Rooney, 97 rated cover star. We have Javi Alonso. We have the Schweinsteiger and Roberto Carlos. He's got Mudrick in this team as well. And Llorente, we've seen Llorente a couple times. I like the team of the year Messi here, Kevin. I really like the team of the year Messi. It's given me vibes of finally somebody having something in their team that's not from the last month on this game. And I get it, right? The power curve in the last month or so in this game has really gone crazy with the 99s and footies and everything like that. But I love how some team of the years from back in January can still make it into starting 11s, um, especially of this caliber, right? A team of the year Van Dyke, you know, he's one of the best center backs in the game. But a team of the year Messi, props to you, man. 1,236 games to that Messi on, uh, in your account. That is awesome. All right, next team right here. He says, bench is stacked with only 98 or 99 rated cards too. Packed. Oh, his club legend is Pelé. All right, we'll get to that. First of all, we have a new 99. This is the first time we've seen a footies Ronaldo in a team. That's still a 15 million coin extinct card at the time of me recording this video, which is crazy that it is basically September and we still have an extinct card on the market. Crazy. He's got the Vinny. He's got the Rashford, the Marquisio, the Yaya. You know what's kind of nuts is the Yaya... I think for a lot of people, this Yaya card um, was somehow ended up being super duper packable from the 84 times 10 grind. Maybe it was player picks. I'm seeing so many Yayas. As I scroll down below this tweet, Yayas are like almost everywhere. It's crazy. I did not expect to see that many because I never packed him. I opened a lot of packs. I don't know. Did you guys pack Yaya? Is he like, did he have crazy pack luck? Maybe a week I wasn't opening too many packs. I don't know. You got 98 Lucio in here too. A lot of people argue that he is the number one best center back in the game. I haven't used that card, but of course it has to be insane. Uh, lovely team here, man. But again, back to Yaya for a second. I really feel like for Yaya, he replaced a lot of people's Vanja Milinkovic Savage, which I know is going to be a club legend for at least somebody that we look at in their team today. But I feel like a lot of people were using Vanja until he came along and became packable. And then it's like, okay, that's another tall, lengthy midfielder that you could replace uh, Milinkovic Savage with. Nice team there, bro. Love it. And then who's your club legend? Pele World Cup with 1,400 games. He says, packed Pele at the promo. Back then, out of an 85 double upgrade before footies, he never left the squad. Absolute legend. That's a club legend right there. And RIP Pele. What a year for FIFA and Pele, honestly. We all had the Pele Tifo. Pele had some crazy uh, cards this year. The 99 Shapeshifters as well. What a way to remember an absolute legend. Now, moving on. One of the last couple teams that we have here from Spyros. We got a World Cup R9 in this squad. And one of the 99s that we have not seen Yet, 99 Neymar, footies. Yes, we've seen Zidane, we've seen Dino. There's another VVD, another Marquisio. Captavia, even Tots Militao makes this endgame team along with uh, Carvajal. Hall. But that's the first time we have seen the 99 Neymar. Man, guys, that's been the grind, right? These past couple of weeks or this past week in general is trying to do 90 plus player picks, 94 plus player picks, anything that we potentially can to get those 99 rated cards, which, you know what, right now the 8510, the 8410 have not gone away yet. So we're going to go ahead and rip one of those. Can we get a 99 Lewandowski and add a 99 to my list, please? Brazil, striker. Oh, it's going to be Pedro. All right, well, 
Back to the teams, unless we have Lewandowski in here, which is probably not going to happen. No, back to a lot of team of the seasons. Yeah, so that's been the chase, right? All the 99s, trying to get those. That's what I've been chasing. I only got one. Well, two if you count Donnarumma. But to me, he doesn't count because he's everywhere, just like Allison was. But still, that's a nice team there, bro. And who's your club legend? Hey, my guy. Mid R9, 1,800 games played and 1,500 goals scored. I wonder when he packed this card, honestly, to play 1,800 games with a mid R9. I mean, obviously, you guys, if you were around last year, you remember that this was my club legend last year as well because I packed mid R9 in the first week of the game in FIFA 22 when he was like 10, 11 million coins. I would have to guess that he packed this card at least sometime before January with that many games played on the card, 1,800. That's pretty crazy. What a club legend to have. Anytime you hit an icon like the Pele we've seen, like this R9, anytime you hit an icon like that that early on in the year, you're just set up for success because you have an instant legend for the club for the rest of the year. And obviously, it doesn't make the team anymore, but you got the World Cup version. If you play with R9 all year, you get used to that card. And I'm sure that's why you got that World Cup version there. Maybe you even have like a Rashford or something on the bench. But for you, you're going to be used to that R9. So you got to start him. You're going to be more overpowered in game with him. So moving on to the next team. One of the last couple that we have here. Holland is the big club legend already. Don't care. Love him. You know what I noticed about this team? He's got two 99 rated cards that were in packs. Messi, who was one of the 99s that I've been chasing this entire promo via other player picks and stuff, haven't got him. So you've got a 99 Messi and a 99 Mbappe with a architect on the Mbappe? Okay, interesting. Architect on the Mbappe and a hunter on the Messi. All right, and he's got Holland, and he's a Holland fan. Um, he's got the Norway badge as well. You see that. He's got Yaya. He's got VVD. What a midfield. Captavia, some rate as the best left back in the game. Another level up, Varan, Mateus. I think a lot of people do this Mateus Varan swap in game. Um, I also think a lot of people are running three back formations right now. As we look through a few of these squads, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are starting in three back formations. Not everybody, but some are just because there's so many insane cards at this stage of the game that uh, it's all about, hey, let me use the 99 rated midfielders and all the crazy attackers and just go all at attack and have fun instead of being a, like a five back rat, you know, in, in August or September. So but for specifically the VVD and the Mateus, I think a lot of people swap those in and out of game. You know, start VVD in the midfield and then bring him back into the defense. But I love the 99s, bro. You've got Govu on the bench as well. Di Maria, Ansu Fati. Not a lot of people have those two. And then, of course, you've got 99 KDB and 98 Goretzka on the bench. You are at a 98 rated squad. You got to be pushing 99 here pretty soon. If you were to get, you know, maybe the new Rafael Leao or stuff like that in this team, that's an insane one. And then, your club legend, you already say, is Premium Footy's Erling Holland, Bro, I mean, the time of me recording this video, this Erling Holland has been out in the game for four days. You've played 60 matches and 83 goals. Wow, what a grind in August. Let's go to the next team. Jabi Alonso is goaded. This is from Danny. All right, another 99 Mbappe. First 99 Lewandowski we've seen. Another Di Maria. A team of the year Messi. Cordoba. That's the first Cordoba I think we've seen. In his squad as well. Cordoba was a legend for me earlier on this year. I played a lot of games with his base hero card. He was really, really good. And uh, you're saying that Jabi Alonso is your goaded card. And there we go. A three-back formation, guys. There it is. Um, I doubt he moves anybody into the defense from there. And wow, if you're using... Um, if you're actually using Mateus at center back and Cordoba, those are some short kings at center back. At least Araujo can win some headers for you. But I would be whipping and crosses against this team because you have some short kings there at the center back position. All right, last squad that I want to look at today is from Shiva, and this is Shiva's team. Another 99 Mbappe with an architect. Interesting, that must be a play. And 99 Benzema in the squad as well. But guys, we had to look at this team as the last one because Vanja Milinkovic Savage. And for me, even though with all the 99 rated cards that are out right now, the Yaya Toure, all that, the VVD, if you were to pack him, I understand starting those players over Vanya Milinkovic Savage, but man, nobody, nobody is going to live on from the memory of FIFA 23 bigger than this card is. The craziest SBC of its time, six foot eight, five star, four star. He just is a glitch, bro. He's just a glitch. And we may never see goalkeepers moved into the midfield like this ever again. I think EA just realized, wow, okay, we can't do this like all the time now or 
we have to be careful with what goalkeepers we choose because the animations that this card still has makes him it, still, to me, one of the best cards in the game. You've got Cordoba, Konate, and Joe Gomez as well. Might be one of the first times we've seen Joe Gomez. And you know what? This Marcus Urente card, I know he was great value. How many times have we seen him in the video today? We've seen him so many times times he's everywhere i think he's in a lot of you guys' teams but he was an absolutely insane sbc you've got a bruno down there as well you've got a de young okay you've got a, a jude a dibala 98 ginola on the bench you guys know like we said it's the end game look at r9 r9 barely makes the team he's the last card on the reserves doesn't even make the bench but welcome to the end game on fifa and thank you guys for sending through your teams it is an absolute blast to look through those and I can't wait to just finish off this game together. Look through a few more of your teams. If you want to send me your team, you can always do that on Twitter. If you want to go find this tweet that I put out a couple days ago and uh, respond there, we'll probably look through a few more of these on stream when I do get back to the stream after a short vacation. So thank you guys for watching the video today. Let me know what you thought of these teams. I know there's a lot of footies cards in there, but I tried to make it, make it fun. And it was still very interesting to see how you guys still value some other players like Ivanja Milinkovic Savage or some of these other players like Team of the Year cards still on your team at this stage of the year. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy once again, drop a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you are new. It's been Nate the Foot Account. See you guys in the video soon. Peace out.